At the end of the last class, uh, we had a simplified example. I think we had a, a person sitting inside this box with a window uh, meditating. And I gave you that the walls, floor, and roof, all the opaque surfaces were R20. And we decided that the window would be an R3 window. So this person uh, is very finicky and the inside temperature must be exactly 70 degrees Fahrenheit or he can't do his meditation. It's very important to him. Um, so we can use a design temperature, right? That's a temperature, an outside temperature that is in the 98th percentile worst coldest temperature you're likely to face in this particular location. And we can use that information to calculate the size of the heater, which we're going to to have in BTUs per hour, right? So that's the power of a heater. Now, the person inside also has a heat uh, emitting capability, and so he's sitting there meditating and he's giving off 356 BTUs per hour. So we could also calculate at what outside temperature will the person have to turn on the heat. In other words, his own body heat isn't going to be enough to maintain that 70 degrees that he requires. So, the first thing we need to do, of course, is calculate the areas of the two different kinds of surfaces. So, the total area, it's a cube, right, and I made it easy. So, the total area is, is uh, 10, a 10 by 10 piece, and then there are six sides. And then the window area, there's just the one window, and it's a 5 by 5 window. So, we could calculate that the opaque area is the total surface area of the cube minus the window area. So that's 575 square feet. Um, and then the, uh, the R values of each characteristic is also important. So the opaque areas are the R20. So to find the U factor, right, because we can't average R values, just area weighted U factors is going to be the uh, reciprocal. So 1 over 20 equals 0 0.05. So that's our U factor for the opaque areas. And then the window, we know it's an R3 window, so 1 over 3, that's 0.33 uh, for the U factor there. Um, so we're going to do an area-weighted calculation. First, we take the U factor for the opaque area times the area of the opaque area plus the U factor for the window area times the area for the window area. And that's going to get us our total U factor times area. So if we plug that and plug those in, we can see that our total UA is 37. Now, if we wanted to find what the effective R value of that is, which I didn't actually ask in the question, um, we'd say take the total UA and divide that by the total area. So that's 37 divided by the total surface area of that cube, which is 600 square feet. So that's 0.061. And then the inverse of that, 1 divided by 0.061. So then our R value is R16.2. So that, that's just how we calculate the total R value. But we want to calculate the size of the heater in BTUs per hour. So we can use this equation that we're going to visit a lot which is U times A times delta T is going to be equal to Q, or the power of the heater. So uh, in this case, we already have UA, right? Because we calculated it um, up, in, up in the original calculation. So we have 37 times delta T. In this case, we know that he's maintaining it at 70 degrees, and that our design temperature is 0 degrees which is convenient because then our delta T is 70. So if we multiply that through, we get uh, 2,590 BTUs per hour. So that's the size of the heater that we would require just to keep the space warm. However, um, and by convention, and, and as we get tighter and tighter buildings, this convention gets less and less valid. By convention, we don't actually count the interior, the internal gains of, of, say, the person. But as we get much, much more efficient um, envelopes, we actually start to want to really count them. So we can calculate the balance point. So that's the temperature outside that would require this person who's giving off 356 BTUs per hour 
the temperature outside that would require him to turn on the heater. So we can just rearrange that equation to solve for temperature 2, right? So we've got Q, which we already calculated, um, uh, divided by uh, the, the UA, right? So Q is the energy that's available to us from his body. That's the 356 BTUs per hour. And the UA we've calculated early, earlier, that's 37. Um, and, and so we can set it up Q divided by UA minus temperature 1, which we also know because we know that he's really strict about this 70 degree temperature he requires. So we set that equation up. We're solving for temperature 2, and we get 60.4 degrees Fahrenheit.